If I'm walking along in a field and I find a watch in my field and I go home and I say, honey, we're going to take out a loan. I've found a watch field. If we fertilize it and we water it, it will go Rolexes and we'll be millionaires. What's wrong with my system of thinking? <clears throat> Is my watch growing fields or did someone drop their watch? The existence of design points to a designer. There's your teleological arguments. If I come into a field and I see a watch, someone made this watch, someone designed this watch, someone dropped their watch, this watch did not randomly get here. Therefore, when I look at the world around me and I see complex design systems, they all point to a designer. They all point to someone putting this here. This couldn't have been an evolutionary process. It was clearly designed. I had a two-hour argument with an atheist, and we covered the teleological argument on his YouTube channel, not mine because he uses a lot of profanity. But we finally got to a point where he realized that he would not allow for any design that pointed to a being greater than a human. He would say that if you looked at a car, that points to a design because we know humans designed it. But when we look at creation, then we don't think that that's a designer because we've never seen a human design something that well. And I would say that that just simply means there's a designer that's much more powerful than humans, much more smarter than humans, a lot like a God in the Bible who describes his attributes as far above what we can ask or think, higher than our ways, higher thoughts than our thoughts. But that, that would be the Christian teleological argument for the creation of the universe by God. 